Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. How are you today? Thank you for joining us. If you're new to our uh, channel, please subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified every single time that we upload a video and that is daily, unless we have computer problems. Then we might not be daily, but Phil usually uploads everyone a video every single day. And we'd love to have you join us. So I have my 12 inch round canvas down with Sherwin-Williams Fully Purple. And uh, I have an array of colors here that I'm going to put on here and we're going to do a little swipe a room. So I have Turquoise Phalo by Golden, Candy Apple Primary Elements, which is color art. This little piggy ore. This is Vat Orange by Golden, Sweet Pea Primary Elements, TLP Frost, which is this little piggy. Emperor's Gold Bling It by Color Art. It's the Bling It uh, one. This is TLP, which is this little piggy sockeye. And Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. I'm going to throw in a little bit of my Chantilly Lays with a Pretty Face. Which prison is a pour. Prison pour. And there it's go. ready to go. So, here we go, people. Going to see what colors come out on here. It's uh, quite a striking base color you have there. I love that purple, don't you, Phil? I do. Looks like I'll be making some paints again tomorrow. You're going to be making paints? Yeah, you're getting low on some of those colors, that's for sure. And by the way, all these paints and pigments that Kathy makes uses the same recipe, and that's in video 478. It'll tell you exactly her simple recipe for pouring medium, and cell activator, and among other tips. And tricks. Yes, there is a direct link in the description box to get to that video. Yeah, so head on there and take a little gander and see how I make my stuff and head on over to Color Art and purchase some of their products. Well, the beauty of your recipe, number one, it's very simple. And number two, it can be used for Pigments, paints, micas, uh, mixtures of pigments and paints, if you want to do that. So, very versatile. It really is. And it's, it's easy, which I like. Even I can do it. Yeah, you can. Well, you do help me with paint sometimes, stirring them. <laughs> I usually stir up trouble, but sometimes I stir up the paints. Yes, that's why your mother sent you to camp growing up all summer. Because you were a little trouble. But boys, you know, boys hey, will boys. be boys. That's right. I don't know. I don't know. I only had girls. So I don't know. Okay. There, we got our colors. All right. Now we're going to go on with our cell activator. <laughs> now we're going to spin it. Oh, brother. So you've got your... I don't know what got me into this mood. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted to fool around with something different than what you normally do, because it's always good to change up things and keep everything interesting. Well, we are changing up a few things here, aren't we? Oh, Phil, Phil, okay. never a dull day in the life of the Millers. And what are you doing right now? Well, as you can see, I'm putting my frosting, which is my black oxide paint, and my Australian Floetrol on the back of my spatula, so actually which it's... is my cell activator. Okay. It's my black magic. Hey, do you think I should put a, throw a little gold in there? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think no. you need it with all these colors. I don't think so. Okay, Phil, hang on to your seat. Here we go. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Let's see what we get. So you did a spin and swipe, or a swipe and spin, well, or one of those we did things. A, who okay. knows what we did? So we're and giving it some time, getting some real nice cell activity on there. Yeah, we're gonna let that come up a little bit. I'll blow a little bit with my straw. Bring up some of the little colors underneath it. It's magic what comes up. As you can see, as Kathy uses the straw to blow on top of the excess cell activator because she wants to release those colors that were underneath it very nicely. And it, look at that, just absolutely gorgeous colored cells have come up from that. You got your fully purple color. Yeah, but we're gonna around. tip know, a little bit. I know we're you, gonna spin a little bit. <laughs> I know you got a ways to go here, but it's, you got a wonderful central area there. I wonder if I should bring my stick and go in like this. I wouldn't. But that'll wreck my, all my cells. Yeah, exactly. Well, we don't want to do that, Phil. No, we don't. So you did a spinning swipe, and now you're going to do a tilt. Yeah, we're going to tilt it a little bit and see what we get. I can see all this glitter. Oh, cool. You might not be able to see it, but I not can at the see moment it. I can't know. As you can see, Kathy's been using her pool quite a bit. Uh, she'll be cleaning it shortly, but Kathy does have a special video on how she sets up her spinner and pool. And there's a direct link to that video in the description box. It'll show you exactly what spinner she uses, how she attaches the sticks to the spinner, how she attaches the canvases to the sticks, Shoot. everything you need to know uh, to get a real nice setup if you're doing any spinning. And actually she uses this pool even if she's not gonna be spinning like. I use this pool for everything. Yes. The only thing I don't use this pool for is when I want to go swimming. <laughs> then I'm outside in the big one. Now this is a small puppy pool. Kathy actually has a larger one if she wants to do canvases a lot larger than this. And uh, this, this spinner and this pool and the sticks are all in Kathy's Amazon shop, which has several hundred items that uh, you may need for paint pouring. So check out our Amazon shop. Again, a link to is in the description box. Oh, wow. This is turning out really different. Look at this one. Yeah, that's oh, wow. kind of cool. Now this is really different. Oh, you just have a Lots of I wonder if I should cells. spin to get this going a little bit more. What way would I have to go this way? I don't know. You might have to tip a little bit if you want to kind of get one corner. Yeah, I might. Adjust it a little bit. We're going to see. I'm liking these colors though. I don't even know why I put the purple base down. Can't even hardly <laughs> see the purple base. Oh, I like this now. This is really different. It's really pretty. Yes, it is. Wow. These colors. Now, I wish we had your phone up here. You can see the... Because we could really see the glitz. Do you have it? I do. Okay, hang on. I got to get my gloves off because otherwise you're going to have a purple people eater phone. Which would not be good. Well, you're just getting some tinges of the base. So really, it it isn't a big factor in... Okay, this creation, that's for sure. Can you hold it? Yes. Okay. Look at the glitter. There Holy we go. cow. Yes, nice. Look at that. 
This is, oh, is this pretty. Isn't it? Yes. Tons oh, I'm of loving nice this. glitter. The colors are very Look at all the shine. Vibrant. Phil, you're, there's, you're hiding the light. Oh, is that pretty? Look at this in here. Yes. Whoa. I'm loving this. This is Sparkle City. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this pretty? I can see a little bit of the purple. Yes. This is nice. Yeah. I like this. I'm glad I, I did this again because I don't really do much of these. No, and you can get some really cool compositions out of this. Yeah, I mean, you, can. you just you had a ton of cells, and they all uh, showed you know, up. Showed up, maintained very nice coloration and glitz. And now all these cells are a little bit elongated compared to some of the other ones, but I spun it uh, yes. pretty much too. And when you spin it like this, if you overspin it, you're going to get these type of cells. If you want to keep them more together, don't spin it as much. But I wanted to get all my colors out all the, all the way, so I actually did this on purpose. Right. Well, there's nothing wrong with these. No. What I call them elongated and even misshapen cells. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hate to have the connotation that that's bad because it it isn't it isn't necessarily bad. No, it isn't. You don't have to all have to have all perfectly round cells cells of all the same. And you don't have to shape. have you know like all perfect lacing. I right. mean that's the fun of it. It's it's your creation and away you go. I think this actually created a lot of interest to the composition. This is very interesting. Yeah. I can't say it's selly. I can't say it's lacy. It's just, it's just very, very different and very interesting. It's very pretty. The colors are very, very striking. Once this is resined, it'll, it would be pretty. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed what I did today. Cause I don't do the, like I said, I don't do these very often. And I just had an urge to try it. You like it with my, you know, spatula my little spatula here you can use bigger ones you can use whatever you want and um i hope everybody uh has fun painting because that's what it's all about it's just having fun don't worry about your your creation just put it down if you don't like it you can scrape it um i at the beginning 30 years ago there was many of them that i went oh my god and that's how you learn by your mistakes. So I have fun doing this every single day. I never get ticked at the canvas. I don't get ticked at my paints. I don't get ticked at the spatula. Maybe a little <laughs> bit of fill, but uh, not too often because he is my rock when it comes to videoing and my mouth. If I didn't have him, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you, Phil, for doing that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everybody have a safe Happy day, and I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye.